Hello everyone, this is Rong Zhong again. It has been a long week since I've been replying emails from all over the world and cannot sleep. But I'm so inspired by your support that I just decided to make another video before leaving the factory. Last time I have shown you how to make Nibbles head and neck. Note that I've installed these screws to finally lock everything in place. At this moment, don't install the head and the neck together because we need to calibrate this servo. If we install them too early, the servo may try to rotate to a hard location and that may break the servo. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the body group of nibble. This is a much larger and complex structure. If we use screws, we may need to use tens of screws, and that's not neat. I will show you how I design a structure that can be done with only interlocking mechanism. If you are a puzzle solver, you can close this window and reserve the fun for yourself. Let's first get familiar with all these pieces. We have four ring pieces, four shoulder pieces, two mount pieces, one belly piece, one spine, three screws, one spring, and six servos. That's it. Also note that these pieces are identical. This is a good habit in industrial design to ease the manufacturing and later replacement. Downside is you do need to think a lot so that one piece can be used in different cases. Let's first solve, solve Nibble's back side, this group. It's connected to the tail through a servo. We use the dark green servo and fix it onto the shoulder piece. Pay attention to the direction. The taller side should be on top and the servo axis should be on top. We will use two screws to fix it onto the shoulder piece. Okay, because we are working with wood, don't screw too hard, otherwise you will break the fiber. Then you find the another shoulder piece and rotate it by 180 degree. Insert it like this. Compare it with the assembled nibble. They can move, so we will use this ring to lock them. Observe the dimension of this shoulder piece. They can only get through the longer slots on this circle, on this ring. So we insert it and push the two shoulder pieces apart and insert this blue servo as a spacer. Also pay attention to the direction of this blue servo. This is going to be connected to the tail this is going to be connected to the leg, so the servo should be pointing outside. Push it, it, push it, but don't all the way to the end. On the other side, we we'll do the same thing. Insert through the longer slot and push to the two sides insert the blue servo as a spacer but don't all the way into it okay and 
put these cables through the smaller opening on the bottom shoulder piece to make them organized. You will end up with 11 cables. You don't want them to be swinging everywhere. We're done with the back group. Now the front group is slightly different because I introduced a spring between the neck and the shoulder. This is designed to help protect the more expensive components on the head. If you have a camera, you don't want to break it during a collision, right? So the spring will help to absorb shock. To make it, we have this dark green servo, a screw. We screw onto the longer side. like this, and find the shoulder piece, put one on top and another one on bottom. Rotate this one by 180 degree. Put the cable through the window, like this, and put the spring here. Okay, so you can see the functionality of this spring is just to avoid the spring jumping out. Now hold it like this and use the rings to lock them. Insert the two shoulders through the wide slots and push them to the two sides. Insert the servo as a spacer. Pay attention to the direction of the servo. This time, this servo is going to be connected to the neck, so the joint should be pointing outside. On the other side, the same assembling, insert it, push to the two sides, insert the servo, pay attention to the direction, push it to this location. Now we have the front side and the back side. Back side. Um, insert the cable through the window to make it organized. Next is to connect the front and back groups using these middle pieces. First, insert the belly into the two windows on the, on the bottom piece of the shoulder. And these two are the mount pieces. Pay attention to the direction it has three holes here, two holes here. These holes are designed to mount your control board. With the setting of nibble and night board, we need the two screw holes to be pointing to the front and insert them to the window like this. And for now, they are free to move, right? Here's the trick. I will push the two servos into the very end and they are locked. How does that happen? For a servo, it has four edges. So two edges will be used as a lock in our structure. It will be pushed and insert it into the dent onto this piece. So we did this for both sides in the front. We do the same thing on the back side. Before pushing the structure all the way forward, we install 
the spine and keep the other side of the spine below the shoulder piece. Now we can push the back piece forward. And insert the servos. First, fix the belly piece. Lock it. And then fix the mount piece. Here, you do need to take some efforts because I designed the structure tight. You need to bend it in this direction. Not too much. But you will be able to insert the servos into the dents on both sides. Finally, check that you have pushed all the servos all the way to the window. Rotate it a little bit to release the tension between structures. Now we have a assembled body group without any screws, right? You do need to install four screws through these holes to lock it because when walking we don't know what will happen. Next time I'm going to show you how to mount the nightboard onto the frame and discuss how you can install a Raspberry Pi on top of Nibble as a brain. A quick re preview is if I open, if I switch on the battery and the nightboard will be powered on and it will also power on the Raspberry Pi through these two and five pins. Because I have already uploaded the instinct onto nightboard, it's already detecting body orientation. So if you try to keep balance, just imagine that this is attached to the leg. If you like this design and want to support this project, please go to our Indiegogo campaign page or just share it with your friends. Thank you and see you next time.